In Patia, the stage is set for a new community theatre group, the Patia Players, a troupe of amateur thespians established in January 2008. The group's mantra is to provide an artistically adventurous environment which attracts and excites diverse members of the Patia community by offering theatrical productions that entertain, inspire and inform. Recently, the Patio Players debuted with a set of three one-act plays performed over three consecutive nights. So, who are some of these Patio Players? We caught up with them at their final dress rehearsal. I did the murder mystery about a year and a half ago. I played the uh, cross-dressing director. And uh, anyway, so when they came up for this one, and initially I said no because uh, work commitments. And then uh, the guy who was playing my uh, my part, he dropped out. So I came, came in at the last moment, I think about four weeks ago. So it's been a bit tricky trying to get all my lines learned. Actually, I'm in two of the plays, The Last Sleep. Um, I am Susie. And then I'm also in final dress rehearsal as the godmother, the fairy godmother. So I go from a very serious role to a very fun and funny role. And it's a little bit hard to make the transition sometimes. <laughs> but very excited about doing both. Playing old bear men, born on the banks of the Rhine. <laughs> I've been to the theater a fair bit, yes. Um, generally in the audience. This is my first time on the stage. I play an old drunk, <coughs> which is fine, it's typecast, easy. Much acting involved? Yeah. Um, I have to drink an awful lot, it's great, I have to speak and I have to somehow get my glass empty in time to be able to speak again, and then they fill my glass up and I get drunk again. That's it really. Well, I was in the murder mystery last year, and so I knew Chris and um, Debbie and Mari, and we are all going to get together and do this community theatre, so I thought, well, if I did it once, I might as well give it a go again. Um, I've never been to the theatre for years, and I've not been anything since in anything since I was about that big, and then I forgot my lines. So, good job, this. <laughs> this is my daughter, Caroline. And when she found out we were going to all be in costume, she wanted to wear her own costume. So she's our bunny, our honorary bunny. <laughs> Elder stepsister. So I'm not quite used to these long eyelashes, but <laughs> I'm supposed to be mean. So tonight I have to be mean. Cinderella's stepsister. Huh. Do you think I can be mean? Yeah. You think so? Cinderella. Give me my boxes. Take these boxes. Huh? Yeah? Yeah. You gonna come watch the play? Yeah? I'll try not to scare you, okay? Have you always been a, a thespian? A thespian? Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Long, long time. I think I was on the stage first when I was three and a half. <laughs> uh, that was singing and dancing. Um, pantomime. Well, I play the utility girl. Um, because everybody knows me with red hair, I decided to be different so they wouldn't recognise me with the blue hair. <laughs> Do you want me to put it on for you? See, it doesn't look like me at all now. See, nobody would recognise me, hopefully. <laughs> you qualify as the oldest, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Were you always uh, theatre fans? Always, in America, yeah. yeah, but we've never been Amateur. in. We have no experience. We've never been in a play before. So, so they took us we're on. We're probably a little more nervous than the average person. Person in the play, yeah. yeah. But but uh, it's been interesting. Yeah, it's been fun from the ground up to. We're not we've sure been it's doing worth all the, the work. Uh, building of the sets and everything. You know, we've been moving the sets, building the sets. Uh, yeah. uh, you name it, we've been a part of everything. So. Yeah. Debbie, There's Debbie. This is our. Found oh, yeah. no, no fair, I don't have my makeup on. They did a murder mystery here about a year ago and everybody got very excited about it. And they talked to me because they knew I had a love of the theater and they asked me if I would be involved in helping to get it organized. And it was me and about seven or eight other young ladies. And we met at my dining room table for months and went over brainstorming and ideas and tried to decide what we wanted to do. and how we would do it and we got so far and we couldn't just exactly pull it off.
so then we found Chris Parsons, the director of this event, and he's been the inspiration to all of us. He has the knowledge and the expertise and the stick to itiveness and he's got us all up and running, and now we're here. And I'm so excited and nervous and um, can't wait to see what happens. So. I have been drafted in as a sounding and lighting technician, and this is my first time, so I'm quite nervous. And um, that's, that's what I'm doing. I'm directing these two gentlemen here. I'm trying to learn a little bit of Thai, but my Thai's not very good, so I'm doing a lot of pointing and trying to move buttons and knobs and I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> um, Julie, yep. the, the key to those microphones down front is we want to pop them up as much as possible without getting too much of the ambient sound of the stepping right. and the... And so, we don't want any feedback. So we want them as high as possible. So we want to tweak that so why as they Why don't we try them now? We're not really going to be able to until, until the cast gets on there. So I think it's going to be... Um, <laughs> I have every faith. <laughs> what could I do? And lo and behold, I get this job. <laughs> I don't think I'll get it again, but there you go. First time for everything. Okay, uh, if we take you into darkness so I can do one more set uh, lighting check, is that okay? All right. All right, let's do final dress rehearsal. Where's my stage left? No. Where Claire is. The Puying. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. There, okay. Right there. That's it. That's it. All right, let's get the cast out. Let's get this show on the road. Dress rehearsal, don't worry, because you can come back after the initial talking while the other plays are going on to finish up your makeup, okay? But just for um, initial notes, let's get outside. Everyone's here? Okay, uh, a couple of quick announcements. First of all, y'all look great, except for Meryl. Um, <laughs> <laughs> We're all set up for Monkey's Paw. The key is gonna be um, that transition into Last Leaf. And right now we don't have the final um, masking flat in place, but when that's there, it's gonna tighten things up quite a bit. We did it in about five minutes uh, last night. You can have seven minutes, so if you need to slow yourselves down, and especially the people up here with the door that fell apart. If you get stuck, find your way out of it or help each other out along the way. Um, the only other thing is the lighting. I have the utmost uh, respect for Julie and her professionalism and I'm sure it's gonna be really good, but we're gonna have to tighten things up between tonight and tomorrow. Now, the good news is we are starting relatively on time, uh, which means if it's a real mess, we will have time um, to run through one more time. All right. Good luck, this is it. This is the final dress rehearsal. Choke D-Cop, places.